Hi everyone! Okay, so I came on the other night and I showed you how to make smoothies. Well, today we're going to make froyo, which is also a healthy alternative snack for the kids or for a dessert. So, what are we going to use? So, we're going to have, bear me a second, just move my spoon. So, we've got some fat free Greek yogurt, some maple syrup, or you can use honey, some frozen fruit, some Madagascan vanilla essence, and some milk. Okay, so basically I've got a blender, one of these, okay, with a special blending cup, which I can screw together to blend up my um, ingredients. If you haven't got those, you can use a hand blender. So, here we go. So, into my blending cup is gonna go some frozen fruit. Uh, let's say a good handful. I'm gonna put the rest of that in there. So, I've got about this much, a quarter of a, um, the bottom of the thing of frozen fruit. Then into that is going to go a squirt of maple syrup. Quite a generous squirt, there you go. Into that is going to go literally um, a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Oh, so we go, we've got a teaspoon of vanilla essence. In that goes. Then into that I'm going to put um, initially four big tablespoons of Greek yogurt. So, one, two, three, four. How are we doing? Actually, I'm gonna put five in. So five scoops of yogurt. Then just literally a little dash of milk, not measured, just, just a splosh. So I splosh milk, like that. Then I screw on my blendy bit, or if you've got your hand blender, then obviously you're gonna put it in the jug and hand blend it. Screw that onto my machine. Turn that mouse so I can see what I'm doing. And of course, smooth okay so that's ready to rock then literally all I'm gonna do is let me move my blender out of the way is I've got some little pots like this with lids on all different sizes to go into the freezer so literally take the lids off this just literally unscrews it's really good this uh, breville little blender thing okay and all I'm gonna do is pour the mixture into the pots, that's the first one. You don't have to add milk if you don't want to, you don't have to do that. I just did it because my Greek yogurt was quite thick. Um, but to be fair, it works both ways. Just remember, if you're gonna put a dash of milk in, it's literally a little dash, that's it. Okay, anything left in there, get your spoon in there, scrape it out, don't waste it. You want to add some extra bits of fruit in after you can do right okay so now there's my pots ready to go in the freezer pop the lids on and it literally makes little pots of froyo pop it in there everybody's freezer is different you'll know when it's ready because you'll take the lid off and it will literally be like a version of ice cream so that's going to go in hopefully be ready for the kids for their dessert this evening enjoy making yours and share your recipes see you all later bye